Hello everybody and welcome to the third of the landscape builder tutorial videos for the new group system. In this video I'll be showing you the proximity feature of the group system. As before I'm using a pre-release version of landscape builder so you might see some changes in later versions. For these changes you can consult the manual or post us a message on our unity forum. Proximity is a feature in the group system that allows you to prevent objects from appearing too close to each other. It is important to have something that does this, as otherwise we will have objects appearing inside of each other, which we obviously want to avoid, especially if there are objects like houses. To this end, in the group system, every object has a property called a proximity extent. So if we go into the group and look at a member, we can find this value in the proximity tab for members. So if I go into this small house member, for instance, the proximity extent is set to 8. All proximity values are measured in meters, so we can say that the proximity extent for this object is 8 meters. On a technical level, the proximity extent defines the radius of the area in which other objects are not allowed to appear. To get a better idea what this means, let's go into the group designer. As you can see, there is a blue circle drawn around each object in the group designer. This represents the proximity extent for that object. No, none of the blue circles for any of the objects are allowed to overlap. You can turn off the proximity display by selecting an object, right clicking to bring up the menu, going to display and then unticking the member extent proximity. You can turn it back on by using the same method. The proximity concept can also be used in conjunction with trees. The proximity for trees is controlled by the min tree proximity variable here. If we go back to that menu again, go to display and turn on member tree proximity, we notice that a second green circle appears around the proximity circle. The green circle here represents the tree proximity for each object. There are two modes for tree proximity and which mode is used is controlled by the remove trees checkbox here for each member. If remove trees is enabled, any tree that appears within the region depicted by the green circle will be removed. If remove trees is disabled, if any tree appears within this green circle region, the object itself will not be placed. Here, outside the group designer, we can demonstrate this. For example, if I increase the min tree proximity to 20 for this small house member and then populate the groups, all trees within a 20 meter radius of any of these small houses will be removed. If I now disable the remove trees icon and populate the groups again, Now the houses themselves will be removed instead from within 20 meters of any tree. And since this is a small clearing, all of these small houses have been removed. Grass can be removed from areas near objects as well, using the min grass proximity variable here. When min grass proximity is set to zero, it doesn't do anything. Setting it to anything higher, however, like this, allows grass within the min proximity to be removed from around an object. For example, if I choose this tower here, then uh, set, set min grass proximity to 3 and populate the groups again. Grass within 3 meters plus some extra distance controlled by the remove min blend distance value here has been removed from around the tower. That now brings us to the conclusion of this video. We'll be releasing some more videos soon looking at other new features of the group system, so keep an eye out for them, and thank you for watching.